Alrighty, so today I'm going to show you guys how to loop through a multi-dimensional array in PHP. So, What's up, guys? <laughs> so, so, uh, oh, shit, my ears off. so I'm going to, first thing I'm going to do is with any PHP project is start your Apache server. I'm using WAMP. WAMP, WAMP. Um, okay, and then I'm going to open it to bottom text. <laughs> yeah, dude, that heater is loud, or whatever that is. Um, let's do it from scratch. Alright, boys, ladies, and gentlemen. Let's uh let's get to it. Okay, let's call this one array dot php. And let's get our PHP tag right there. And so with PHP you can create an array in two ways. Um I'm gonna do it the way where you um actually type it out instead of using the shorthand. Um, so I'm going to create a variable called family, and then I'm going to assign array, array, let's see, we want to, okay, I'm going to use your name, Tom, Tom, and Tom, uh, Tom has, can you hear me, my Oh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. So within the array, we're going to go like this, array, and then we're going to have, let's see, I'm going to say Tom is going to have a roommate. And his roommate's name is Shane. Yeah. Okay, let's see. And then, okay. And then we're gonna have another one. Let's go with, uh, I can't think of anybody right now. Uh, go with myself. Andy, and let's say I have a, let's say siblings, a couple cousins, okay, cousin, okay, so my one cousin's name is Michelle. And let's say I have, I also have a mother. Her name is Sophie. And let's, let's add another one for shit and giggles. Sorry, I just had Chinese food today, so, so I'm just burping it all up. Okay, so let's go with uh, J Wall. And let's go with Ray. Um, da, 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 so J Wall probably has a friend named uh, Chunk. <laughs> go with that. Alrighty. I think that's about it for that. Okay. So we're gonna loop through this. Um we're gonna loop through this multi dimensional array. And um one way there's probably a few ways of doing this. You can either use a for each for loop, um 
Um, yeah, there's a bunch of different ways. In this, I'm actually just going to use a for each. And I'm going to show you um, what happens when we just use one for each. So um, I'm actually going to, for, for those of you who don't know how to use a for each, I'm actually just going to explain it. So the first thing that you have to pass in is the actual array. And then the second thing is um, the key. So in an array, we have a key and a value, right? So let's look at this, this, um, this array right here. The key for this array would be roommate and the value would be Shane. So value. Okay, so let me just add a comment here to make it more clear. So we have our array, and then we have our uh, key, and then we have our value. Awesome. Okay, so if I echo, echo out key, let's see, what do you guys think is going to happen? If I echo out, um yeah key okay let's uh see what's what's going to happen Oop, let me get that browser so localhost slash um What is the error? Parse error syntax error unexpected for each line A. Oh, hang on. Let's add a break statement there. Awesome. So whenever we run our for each loop, it's actually giving us um the key in our array key but the problem with this is we have an array inside of an array so we're gonna have to loop through this and to loop through the second array you can't simply use one um one for each see so if i get decide to do value so if i do value it's um it's actually going to well it's not even gonna work with echo. I'm pretty sure I have to use like print R or something. Or uh, some kind of var dump. But it's actually just gonna print out the whole array when we want the elements within the array. So let me just try that. I'm just curious now. We'll see what we get. Oops, okay. That's not gonna work either. Awesome. Okay, that's what I thought. Okay, so to loop through the second array, what we have to do is another for each. Nested for each. And then we're also gonna have it's exactly the same as this. So we need the array, the key, and the value. So so we're looping through these inner arrays. So um, the value to this is actually what we need. So this value right here is this array. So first parameter is going to be value as, um, let me just say relationship. And remember, this is the key. So this is connected to these right here. Our value is going to be, I'm just going to say person.
Okay, so let's go ahead and echo this out. Um, okay, so first we want to say, so ideally we want to say Tom has a roommate named Shane. Or Andy has a cousin named Michelle. So we want to print out Tom, Andy, J Wall. We're going to have to get the, the key. So key. Tom has a. And then this key right here would be relationship. Relationship. Named and then the value person. Awesome. So refresh this and look what we got. Oh wait, no, it worked. Okay. Uh, and I think that's it. Yep, that's it. Awesome. There we go. Thanks for watching.